put the money in the hands of the people who are oppressing you. That's essentially the Republican Party carried to a caricature by Trump. I have to give him credit for that. A lot of what was pretty clear, but maybe latent, became transparent under Trump. Yeah, you know, it, <laughs> I don't want to belabor the Trump point, but looking at it from Canada, um, having Trump being respected as a leader by a big swath of your population and being so self-evidently a con man, is, I, I used to joke with my friends that it would be like me giving you hairstyle advice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any hair. And, um, and, and I thought to myself, when you were just talking now, the thing that came to mind immediately was the Panama Papers. And I'm wondering, like when you were talking about tax shelters, how complicit, I, I think I know the answer, but I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. How complicit is the media? When you talk about, you know, the, the Panama Papers was like a big story, and then it just disappeared. It's like it never happened. I never hear anything about it anymore. Is, isn't that almost evidence of a, of a complicitness or like a collusion between media, corporation, and government? You're quite right. The Panama Papers was extremely important. And it's, uh, it's a major window that we have into the massive robbery undertaken through tax havens. Uh, and uh, you're right that it it's the major window, incidentally, because Congress is unwilling to use its subpoena power to get the true facts. Same with legislatures elsewhere. So that's all a form of complicity. As far as the media are concerned, they take their cues from uh, what's happening in centers of power. In fact, there's a slogan in the media, which is, not meant to be derogatory, which says the major task of the media is to report what's going on within the Beltway. The Beltway in Washington is where the centers of power are. The executive, Congress, Pentagon, that's the Beltway. So we report that something's outside that's not really news, that's bias. As long as we report what's in the beltway, it's not bias, it's objective. Uh, you learn that in journalism school. It's kind of built into the system. So yes, it's a kind of complicity, but it's built in institutionally. And of course, there's more than that. If you look at the nature of the major media, what are they after all? They're huge corporations. Like other corporations, they sell a product to a market the market is other corporations. They live on advertising. Uh, the product they sell is you and me. Uh, so you have uh, major corporations who are uh, selling people, readers to other corporations. It's not hard to predict what's going to come out of a system like that. Of course, they're very closely tied to government. There's a constant flow between uh, media, top government, and so on. Government itself has a huge propaganda agency putting out so-called material. The job of an object objective reporter is to report whatever is said in the centers of power. 